Ping have entered the forge category in style. Two new irons we're going to take a look at in this video. So we know Ping as a brand are very renowned for their cavity back, making the game very much easier. And maybe that player's category side of things, the forging, the smaller headed compact irons, maybe has never been a forefront of what Ping have delivered until now. These two new irons, the Blueprint S, Blueprint T, look fantastic. Fully forged and definitely hitting an area in that category where I think you know maybe that that player desiring that type of golf club would probably go elsewhere so blueprint s quickly as a cavity back iron they've got a blueprint t which stands for tour and that's just the cleanest looking iron you have ever seen from the back of it so we're going to hit some shots we're going to start off with the s and then move into the t so I just want to jump in but just before we carry on with the video so 80% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed to my channel and I really appreciate if you could join my community so if you're enjoying the videos please consider hitting that subscribe button ring the bell while you're there as well so you get notifications of any future videos and you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it so for me the blueprint s is probably the exciting one i think this is going to appeal to the majority of golfers out there with the t being really for that ultimate ball striker because that is an extremely small head so blueprint s we have this cavity we've got this forging uh, great look i mean looking at the back of this as i say you can see that cavity we've got a polished bottom line there on on the sole forged printed into the back of the cavity and blueprint s just towards the heel so i'm obviously very ping like characteristics we see we see the tungsten toe screw and also that little nick in the back of the hosel which helps to adjust a little bit of lie in that customization but playing position there now is is really nice i mean you can tell it's a ping shape definitely a little bit of a like a bigger toe section there i would sort of say but sort of medium to thinish top line minimal offset white bottom groove as we always see with ping irons and that looks beautiful behind that golf ball nice compact head but not ridiculously small so you know if you want something that gives you a little bit of confidence in this area then this is a good looking iron okay not bad shot to kick things off with there touch low in the club face fractionally definitely get that little bit of that feedback but decent spin number there 6300 about 169 carry so the loft this is 79 and 79 in the in the t i'm going to hit soon as well uh, they're both lofting at 33 degrees which is actually exactly the same as the i230 so you could blend three models here potentially through the set so possibly the s in the longer iron with that cavity there and then moving into that t in that shorter iron they'll score in uh, irons it's a beautiful feel to that nice sound so it's a it's a forged sound and that's quite refreshing from ping because we have seen that word forged stamped on other models the i525 the i59 but with them being a hollow construction they just never feel really like that forged a forged face but not a forged body this is a full 86 carbon steel forged head and we can definitely tell the difference Ooh, a little bit pushy on that shot Strike was pretty decent though. Just a little bit left out to the right hand side. So Ping has seen a great response on tour with this particular iron. Tyrrell Hatton, for example, has put this set of irons straight in the golf bag. So that says quite a lot about the quality of this particular iron. So let's talk a little bit about the technology in this iron. Ping have a painted precision pocket forging is what they're saying. So in the three, four and five iron, there's a little pocket inside this head in those longer irons. So that helps them to save 10 grams of weight, which then can be redistributed, probably lower in the head. I'd imagine in those longer irons to help with that little bit, that ease of flight with that less lofted club but then they're filling that slot with an elastomer substance which just helps to dampen any sound that might be created from that uh, little pocket yeah that feels gorgeous that's a great feel from a ping iron there so when we look at the sole relatively th sort of thin sole there and then we've got this tungsten screw at the end of that sole towards the toe now this will help with swing weight in the club to get it to the desired swing weight that they want so they'll use that tungsten screw to really dial that in and also some weights that will go into the uh, hosel of the golf club as well just to really precision that swing weight and the other great feature of this iron it's got that hydro pill 2.0 finish which just helps with a little bit of 
moisture dispersion in those types of conditions that we get faced with on the golf course to really keep that uh, spin under control. So on first glance, that iron looks to be pretty consistent. So availability in the Blueprint S, we've got three iron through two picture wedge and they're available both right and left hand. Right, let's move into the Blueprint T. Now this is one very clean looking iron from the back. It literally just has Blueprint T and a little bit of a chrome finish section, high end of the toe. The rest of it is just brushed steel. It looks clean it looks beautiful it's just minimalistic is maybe the word i'm sort of looking for thin line very compact head and we, we have seen blueprint obviously before and in, again that was incredibly small so this is definitely going to be an iron for that ultimate ball striker somebody who's looking for precision in terms of launch spin and accuracy is probably another word we're going to use associated to this iron full one piece 8620 carbon steel fully forged again playing position and this makes the golf ball look like a tennis ball it is very very small is this head hardly any offset i don't think there is any offset there might even be a bit of onset there to be honest incredibly thin top line very squat from that heel to toe if you prefer something with a little bit more mass down by that golf ball this is definitely not an iron for you Ooh, there's a little bit off that toe of the golf club that wasn't perfect on the strike you definitely get that feedback through this type of iron as to where you've hit that on that golf club so as i mentioned 33 degrees of loft again so very blendable with the s as i mentioned you might want to put s in those longer irons t in these scoring irons again we've got this brush satin finish white bottom groove as we see with all ping irons the better strike there yeah, and that's a ball flight that looks under control is probably what I would say. It's not getting out there. It looks to be have a decent bit of spin on there for some control. So as we mentioned, we've got this narrow sole, which just helps a little bit with that turf interaction. We've still got that little nick on the back of the hosel there, which obviously, again, helps with adjusting that uh, lie angle. Quite a sort of pointy toe section in this uh, blueprint in comparison, which we've seen is quite a typical sort of shaping for a ping iron. a little bit low toe you definitely feel it in this iron that's not perfect but it might do all right there to be honest yeah that's pretty good now there is even though this is a pure blade and we know tech wise it's difficult to do anything with something like this but there is a little bit of an moi boost here and again we've got this tungsten toe cap section here which again helps with that swing weighting but just pulls a little bit of weight in the toe and obviously got a little bit of weight in the heel as well that's lovely. I think when you get that struck out the middle of the golf club, that feels as good as anything else out there. Okay, that's good. Really enjoyed hitting that. It's definitely not for the light-hearted. You know, that is a small-looking golf club. In those longer irons, it's going to look a bit scary, I would say. So probably the blend of mixing them with the Blueprint S could be a really good option for a lot of golfers out there. Appreciate that it's going to be a niche market with that size of head. I think the S is definitely going to be the bigger, more popular option of those two golf clubs. Post comments down below, let me know your thoughts as always, and hopefully we'll catch you all very soon.